68 million years ago, the semi-tropical plains of North America were dominated by one of the most terrifying predators to ever walk the Earth, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This was no ordinary predator. It was the ultimate killing machine. Weighing over 10 tons with a jaw-dropping bite force capable of crushing bone and razor-sharp senses, it was the last thing you'd want to encounter. Scientists believe its vision was up to 13 times sharper than that of humans, making it nearly impossible to hide from. So if by some bizarre twist of fate you found yourself transported to the late Cretaceous period, your first priority should be one thing. Run. But where would you go? You might think, head for water. Bad idea. Most lakes and rivers were filled with enormous crocodile-like predators. Maybe you'd consider heading south. Unfortunately, you'd run straight into a gang of abelosaurids, another group of terrifying theropods. So, perhaps north is the safest option? Maybe the colder climate would mean fewer deadly dinosaurs. But even the frozen Arctic wasn't safe. If you traveled far enough north, you'd encounter yet another beast, a relative of the T-Rex known as Nanuxaurus, the polar bear lizard. Finding evidence of this Arctic predator was a stroke of luck. Paleontologists unearthed its remains in the remote Prince Creek Formation in Alaska, one of the most inaccessible places on Earth. In 2006, scientists stumbled upon fragments of a theropod skull, a right maxilla, a skull roof, and a left dentary. At first glance, these remains seemed familiar. Initially, they thought these remains belonged to an already known tyrannosaur, like Albertosaurus, Despletosaurus, or Gorgosaurus. However, upon closer inspection, they realized they had something extraordinary. This wasn't just another member of the Tyrannosaur family. It was a brand new genus entirely. The name was fitting. Nanook means polar bear in Inuktitut. And this creature ruled the Arctic Circle with an iron bite. This discovery was groundbreaking as it challenged what scientists believed about Tyrannosaurs. These predators weren't just southern killers. They were highly adaptable, thriving even in freezing climates. What's even more fascinating is Nanuxaurus's close relationship to the mighty T-Rex. Scientists found that it was one of T-Rex's closest North American relatives, second only to Daspletosaurus. This connection places Nanuxaurus within the Tyrannosaurinae subfamily, a group known for their bulky builds, wide skulls, and powerful jaws. But where did this Arctic Tyrannosaur come from? Two main theories exist. It could have evolved from a North American ancestor that migrated north, or it might have originated in Asia crossing the Bering Land Bridge before settling in the Arctic. Recent discoveries, such as a small deer-sized tyrannosaur from China called Asia Taurus, suggest the latter. This Asian relative shares striking similarities with Nanuxaurus, leading some scientists to believe it could be a direct ancestor. At first, scientists thought Nanuxaurus was a mid-sized predator, around 20 feet, 6 meters, long and weighing about a ton. This made it comparable to smaller tyrannosaurs like Gorgosaurus. However, more recent studies suggest it was much larger, potentially as big as 30 feet 9 meters long and weighing 3 tons. In extreme cases, it might have reached 35 feet 10 meters, rivaling the largest T. rex specimens. This size made it the largest predator in its Arctic environment. Despite its smaller size compared to T. rex, Nanuxaurus was still a powerhouse. Its skull, while narrower, was robust, and its bite was devastating. Like other tyrannosaurs, its teeth were curved, serrated, and capable of slicing through flesh and bone with ease. The largest teeth were around 4 inches, 10 centimeters long, perfect for ripping apart prey. And when this predator bit down, the force could obliterate bone, leaving catastrophic wounds. Living in the Arctic came with its own set of challenges. Winters were harsh, with temperatures dropping to an average of minus 3 degrees Celsius, 26 Fahrenheit, and up to 120 days of near-constant darkness. This extreme environment meant Nanuxaurus likely had unique adaptations to survive. One major theory is that it was fully feathered. Feathers would have provided insulation against the cold, and possibly helped it blend into the snowy landscape, giving it a polar bear-like appearance. While no direct evidence of feathers has been found on Nanuxaurus, its close relatives, like Euteranus, were fully feathered, supporting this idea. Its harsh environment also meant it needed heightened senses to hunt in the dark winters. Scientists believe Nanuxaurus had an exceptional sense of smell, possibly even better than T-Rex. With a nose that powerful, it could detect prey from kilometers away, even through blizzards. Its eyesight was likely just as sharp, helping it track prey in low light. Nanuxaurus was the undisputed apex predator of its time. Its diet likely included a variety of herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Pachyrhinosaurus, a horned dinosaur, and Edmontosaurus, a large duck-billed dinosaur. It might have also hunted smaller prey, taking advantage of its incredible strength and hunting prowess. 
Interestingly, while many predators in the Arctic experienced dwarfism due to limited food resources, Nanuxaurus didn't. Its large size allowed it to dominate the ecosystem, specializing in hunting big game. Other predators in the region, like small dromaeosaurs, were no competition. There's a lot of debate about whether Nanuxaurus hunted alone or in packs. Some scientists believe it might have lived in groups, especially during harsh winters, to improve hunting success and conserve warmth. However, there's no direct evidence to confirm this. Most depictions of Nanuxaurus hunting Pachyrhinosaurus in packs are speculative. The Arctic wasn't just home to Nanuxaurus. It was a surprisingly diverse ecosystem. Dinosaurs like Trudontids, Lambiosaurs, and Leptoceratopsids thrived alongside a variety of plants and mammals. However, cold-blooded animals like crocodiles and turtles were absent, as they couldn't survive the freezing temperatures. Despite its dominance, Nanuxaurus faced challenges. Fossil evidence suggests many juveniles didn't survive, reflecting the brutality of life in the Arctic. Yet, this predator persisted, ruling its environment for millions of years until its mysterious disappearance around 68 million years ago, just before the mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. Nanuxaurus is a testament to the adaptability of Tyrannosaurus. It thrived in one of the harshest environments on Earth, proving that these predators could conquer almost any biome. Its discovery has reshaped our understanding of how dinosaurs lived and evolved, showing that even the frozen north wasn't beyond their reach. As paleontologists continue to study Nanuxaurus, we can only hope that more fossils are uncovered, shedding light on this incredible Arctic tyrant and its frozen kingdom. Until then, it remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious members of the Tyrannosaur family, a polar king ruling a snowy wasteland.